How did you find out? So I was at home uh, and some of my friends from the community were texting and sending around pictures and it didn't hit me that it, they were actually talking about Salman, my friend, until later uh, reading through the texts when they started talking about how devastating uh, this was. And then I discovered the details of it and it just shook me. Uh, it, didn't, it didn't feel like London. We were family friends. We, we lived close by, families visited often. My wife and Salman's wife, Madiha, were good friends. The kids knew each other. I don't know how old your kids are, but have you been able to have this conversation with them? So my wife and I decided to not tell our kids just yet. Our oldest is 11 years old, um, and we've got a nine-year-old as well. So we felt it may be best to just put this off for a bit, let it cool down, and then at some point they'll find out and we'll have to have that discussion with our, at least our 11-year-old and, uh, and basically explain what happened and explain that this is not normal and this is not what Canada's like and that you should still feel confident in yourself and in your culture and you should not be scared to walk down the road or play in the neighborhood. For me, it's a personal tragedy. But I think the issue goes beyond that for a lot of Muslim community members who didn't know Salman as well as I did. And for them, it's a matter of, are we still safe here? Uh, can Muslims wearing a hijab walk down the road without feeling threatened? How did you come to know Salman? From the mosque. So it was 14 years ago. I went to the mosque and I met him for the first time. And our friendship grew over the years. Such a death for somebody who's so, so kind-hearted. Somebody who would never, never wish ill for anybody. What was his story? So he came from Pakistan uh, as a physiotherapist, sat through his credentialing exams, and he was able to secure a job in Woodstock. And he was working around London for a while. And he was still working as a physiotherapist recently. And his wife was doing her PhD in civil engineering. Just, just an aspiring family like any other newcomers to Canada to build a future for their families, for their kids. Whenever we'd get together, it would basically be discussions about the community, the uh, life in Canada, how are we going to help our kids maintain their culture, maintain their identity. Um, how was your wife managing? She was shocked. and. Uh, same as me, she didn't feel like, how could this happen? Is this London? What, what, what's going on here? For a 20-year-old to be filled with such hate, to get in his car and kill a family just based on the way they looked, there's something fundamentally wrong about what our kids are hearing, what our kids are being brought up in. The media for a long time, I think, has not been portraying Muslims in the right light. There's been a lot of vilification going on. There's a lot of us versus them, and it never should be that way. It's, it's just shaking all of us, really. And were you able to sleep last night? Uh, very little. Very little. 